okay guys so we'll understand today array and what are the other stuff in array so let us understand one example here uh, go to the Java program and we'll make one array copy here consider the file name I'm giving here array copy demo so how we can copy one array of data to other array it's very simple in Java we can call one function array copy from the system class and consider there's a char array here copy from okay we can give some kind of value d e okay c a say here f f here and then say e say here i and n and a t e and let us say d here okay so this much we have in array right and now we can save this file once say copy save so we'll just go to here and save drive give a name here okay save it and now we'll have another character array suppose copy to equal to new char say here 5 size is 5 here okay now we can call the function or method here system dot array copy array copy I want to copy from copy from array right from where I want to copy this much only okay cafe so I have to say 0 1 2 I have to say position 2 from second position I want to copy right where in copy 2 array how much in this copy to array from where to how many characters you want to copy so I want to copy from 0 position to 5 okay now you got the value in copy 2 so if you want to print here say system dot or dot print ln and say new string convert to the string and display the copy 2 okay this is not required save it we'll open command prompt here and say go to the f drive and cd isaac java demo right so all the files are here now we can say java c array copy right So it is giving error here system dot array copy cannot find symbol here right so this c should be small here now you can try once again so error is gone now just say java array copy demo okay enter so what you're getting output C A F F E is coming so we have copied we can copy the entire element to this array 
but we are just copying only this 5 0 to 5 in this new array and I'm saying a start from 2 and take the 5 elements from this right and we have got in copy 2 and we are just converting to string and displaying here so you understood this array copy here right the next example will understand how to work with array I mean how to take some input from the array and how to display it and how to declare array how to store the some kind of number in array let us understand that example say new Java okay give a name here consider array example okay now inside this if I want to declare a array integer array so I'll say int and I say num right so we should not give the size here if we're giving size here let us this 10 now you will get the error here I just say save this file okay and paste it here if I say save now just compile this code here array example so this will not compile right it is illegal so what you have to do here here is not give the size you have to give the size like this equal to new int and give the size here 10 okay and just have a small number 5 now we got the 5 array of size 5 okay which can have a 5 index here if you want to store some value just say here you can use for loop here int i equal to 0 i less than uh, 5 because 0 to 4 i plus plus right and then right here num of i equal to num of i equal to what you can enter some value say 5 or some 10 so every element will have 10 but if you are willing to enter your own data during runtime, then take this data input stream d equal to new data input stream, right? And pass it here system dot in, right? Now inside this num of i, right here d dot read line. So it will read from the system and store to num of i. You can say here integer dot parse int, okay, and close it here. You can have a message here system dot or dot print line enter number, okay, enter number now. So the number will store in each and every element of this num array right it will ask for the five times and I enter the number five times if I want to display it what I have to do I have to say here again I have to use loop here and say int of i equal to zero i less than five i plus plus and say system order print line I want to display the value so here you have to say num of i okay there's one one good thing with this here that I'm giving it five right since the size is five you need not to worry about the size how much size here in a seat of five you can write here num dot length so there's a one length property of the array which you can use here because every array is an object it's a object type okay and 
so that object is having one property that is a length property which you can call here okay just compile it here so it is asking for some kind of importing and say throws here okay and say import java dot io dot star okay save now compile it so it is still giving error here so it has been compiled now now just say java array ex dot java okay enter so it is asking enter number say here 78 66 5 39 88 right or 89 so i entered this number five times right and you have noticed that all the five values has been stored and that i have displayed through this for loop right so 78 66 5 39 and 89 is coming here right so you understood this how to accept the value from user scenario and how to display it right if you want to do some processing just you can write it here itself <coughs> okay so for the next example you understand how to manage two dimensional or multi dimensional array here in java so we'll write one There's a two different type we are having rectangular array and non rectangular array. So let us make that. I just go to Java here and I say array example. Array example uh, rectangle, not rectangle. Okay. Or say rectangle. okay now how we can declare this 2d array just look at here int say here x give one more and then x equal to new int you have to do and here you have to give the size here okay say so this time i am giving here the size i say 4 comma 3 right so four column and three rows so every uh, rows are having four column right so it is a fix it means it is a 12 values only right now we can write some code here like just i want to display the length of rows how many rows are there right so you can say rows like this uh, plus what x dot length okay x dot length so it will display the number of rows let me save this file if i want to display the column how many columns here so we can simply write x of i or zero we can say means first row what is the length means what is the column so let us print it now here sorry this file is something else so array example rec dot dot java okay you have noticed that rows are four and i can say calls i mean columns here so columns are zero if i just say zero comma or let me just so if it is row four what is the index maximum zero one two three right so zero to three so i'm just displaying the first row and the last row here so first row is also 
three column. Last row is also having three column, right? Similarly, we can display four. So all the rows are having the same number of column, three column only, right? Now, let us make another here. And I say int of y to the array, okay? We can also write like this. I can write this side also, not a problem. You can write anyway. And then y equal to new int. Okay, and this time I say here, I don't want to give this number. I say uh, three, three column, three column, right? But I'm skipping the rows here. Can I do this? Let us check it. So it is not allowed here. Okay. It is saying that you can skip the column, but you cannot skip the row. So I say here four. And I just skip the column here. Okay, this is fine. There's no issues in this. Okay. So you find that there is no error here. Now, another concept is what here? Consider I do y of 0 equal to new int. And I say 10. So first row will have a 10. Similarly, I can say there's a four rows total, right? Now you can see here. And this time I say this is second row, third row, and this is the fourth row. So I'll say first time here five, here I say eight, here I say something like 15. So now this array is having how many cell? 10 plus 5 plus 8. So it is almost, I can say, 38, right? So 38 cells are there. But in this, just 4 into 3, right? 12 only. Because here each and every rows are having different number of columns. So it is a non-rectangular array. And this is what rectangular array, right? If you want to display how many rows and column in this, look at here. So rows, y dot length, and y of 0, y of 1, you can also print here. I say this should be 1, this should be 2, right? So first row call, okay. Similarly, you can print here last row calls. So second row calls, right? You can just write that. And third row calls. So 0, 1, 2, 3. Now let us check it here. So you have noticed here the rows are 4, right? But first row having 10 columns, second is 8, 5, third is 8, and last is the 15 because I given 15, right? So it is non-rectangular array. Now let us try to store some value to this array and then display it. So I need to use here a for loop int i equal to 0. And then you can do i less than what x dot length. Okay. And then i plus plus you can do here. Right. So this will help you to navigate the rows. Once we come in the first row, I navigate to column. So again, I can write here another for loop because this is not having one cell having multiple cells so say here int j equal to 0 
j less than what x of i dot length right and j plus plus okay and then i say x of i and j equal to say i want to store uh, two in all the cell okay same thing i can try for here or i just go to here and say display it so i can use here system dot or dot print line x of i and then j right like this is this clear here i am storing two in all the cell right so first row again all the column of first row right so 0 0 then 0 1 0 2 0 3 then it will become 1 then 1 0 1 1 1 2 1 3 right so every cell will have a tool i'm just displaying here also so don't do system or dot print line here just write system or dot print and give a space here and then once the one row complete give a line break so system out dot print line and say here what just close it so line break will automatically come here now we can see the output so you notice here there's a four rows here right and three columns one two three so rows are four right so this is this is a rectangular array okay now let us understand the non rectangular array so i can i can do the same stuff here i can copy the same stuff here i need not to worry how many rows and column just say here why the array name right i say here why and y of i i will store here say 3 here also i'll say y of and y of right okay so the second array we are trying to store that much value here what you have noticed in this look at this one first row is having 10 3 right second row is having 5 3 third row is having 8 threes right and the last row is having 15 threes isn't it so this is what not rectangle right it's a zigzag array that you can do here okay so this is a code for writing the non rectangular array here i have declared the non rectangular array and this is the rectangular array right So I think you understood this whole stuff of array, that's all.